keep it real. YouTube cats be taking this shit a little too seriously, you know what I'm saying? This shit fun, man. It's for entertainment, it's fun and games, baby. You know? This is YouTube. Uh, you gotta you gotta make it fresh. You gotta make it a little unique, you know. You know what I'm saying? So I figured, hey, why don't I bring the masterpiece to its master? Sometimes a nigga feel like cloud strikes With the heavy weight of my soul due to pain and sacrifice Sugar tried to hold me down with Mako energy What they did in notes was that they were reading an enemy To perform with avalanche and claim world supremacy The ultimate soldier Sephiroth became my enemy But to destroy the world with you know with the calamity Pretty plain. Right, what's going on everybody? It's Sham Plu Got my Bluetooth on Got my controller ready You know, I'm about to play some Fat Princess and shit Basically throw out a quick review about it, you know, and also show the the home update with the theater and, you know, shit like that. But, uh, yeah, before I start, quick shout outs. Shout out to Vic the Man, JG, Casino 310, Joker, Cyborg, Darth Q-Ball, Wave 24 Rider, and Solid Rev. Shout outs to y'all. Alright, uh, oh yeah, by the way. Uh, what you just heard, probably in the intro, that was off of this freestyle that I did a little, a little while back. It's actually a lot longer. Um, I might post the whole thing. I'm not too sure. But, uh, alright. Alright. Let's get it going. Start this bad boy up. Oh, shit. Get him, girl. Megan Fox. That's what I'm talking about. All right, y'all, Fat Princess. I'm just going to show y'all um, me playing with, uh, you know, AI and shit. It's pretty much it. It's my creative character. Oh, look at that shit. Get him nice, y'all. All right, first of all, you have different classes. You have the worker class. You have uh, the warrior class. You have the ranger. And you have the priest. Um... Each stage, pretty much, you got the old castle and everything. You got the throne where you got to bring back the princess. And um, each uh, castle that you have has a catapult, which is a fucking sweet-ass thing. Because once you build it, it'll actually be able to fling you straight into the other base, which is base, which is sweet. Um, <clears throat> each class has its own perks and own abilities. Like uh, the warrior class, you know, he'll have the, the sword and shield. And you can actually put up the sword, the, the shield, you know, between the sword, of course. But when you level him up, he comes out with, like, this staff, this kind of javelin type thing. And you can do, like, thrust attacks and stuff like that. You can also hold down the um, attack button and do, like, a special move and shit. Uh, so, you know, circle will pick up any, any hat that's on there. It doesn't matter if it's uh, the opposing team's hat. It'll automatically change your, uh, your class. So you can be in the middle of a battle as a priest, pick up a different hat as a warrior, and then you can start fighting as a warrior. Um, but me, preferably, I like the worker. I think the worker is a beast. But uh, here you got the ranger. You know, he's got the uh, bow and arrow and stuff, which is sweet. He Also, when he levels up, you can get him like this, uh, this kind of like this rifle, which is pretty dope. And you can bring up the map and see what's happening. All the maps are evenly, like, symmetrical and everything. There's no advantage from either side, which is fucking sweet. That's what Gears of War fucking fucks up on also in some other random games. You know, it's, there's no advantage from any from any side, which is dope. And, um, let me see. Here's the priest. Oh! You can heal and shit like that. You know, it's pretty cool. Then... You got the mage, you got the fire, the fire sun. And um, when he when you upgrade him, he can actually uh, throw ice and shit, which is cool. And uh, the priest heals, and uh, the priest can also drain health when he gets upgraded. But um, just to show you like a little depth of strategy in a sense, um, I probably don't have it yet because I haven't really been playing with showing y'all. But um. You can chop down the trees. When you chop down the trees, you can bring them back. 
to home base and you apply them to whatever that you're trying to get upgraded. Now, when you upgrade the worker, oh, let me do that real quick. He basically gets these bombs. And these bombs just straight destroy motherfuckers, yo. Like, everybody likes the mage and shit, but the worker is sick. Like, all you gotta do, pretty much... See, it comes with those big-ass bombs. I'm trying to get that shit out of my hand. Alright, here we go. Just to show you something, like, let's say you got a, uh... A, a front line and shit. Like, right here. You throw the big bomb out. And you pretty much just stay behind everybody else. You stay behind the other infantry and shit. And you just keep throwing bombs. It works a lot better when there's more people playing because you can actually organize it a little bit better. But the bombs are fucking crazy though. But you can kind of understand what I'm saying just by just by using them. Oh shit. L1's a lock on too. But I mean, you know, this this game is definitely fun as hell. People should definitely cop it. Uh, it's definitely worth the 15 bucks. It definitely has its own unique style to it. A unique way to play in uh, Capture the Flag with the Fat Princess. You know, you can also, you know, the whole reason why a Fat Princess is feeding her cake to get her fat ass up. But then, uh, so she's harder to carry and shit. And um, there's also shortcuts out of each uh, castle, such as this one. If you break this off, you can jump in there and it'll, it'll spit you out somewhere in the water in the middle of the map so you can get back to the... Uh, or the castle faster and shit. But, uh, I mean, that's pretty much it. This game's pretty bloody, even though it has a cartoon look. And uh, y'all should uh, definitely check it out. I'm sitting here running out here with no class. See, I'll pick up one of these hats. I'm instantly uh, a ranger. Oh, shit. Run, Noah. Run. Oh, look at that bat pedal action. Oh, shit. Oh! All right, y'all. That's it for Fat Princess. One more thing before I move on to home. Uh, Fat Princess also has different game modes, like Gladiator mode. Basically, puts you in a, puts you, puts you in an arena so that there's a big, you know, onslaught of enemies gradually getting harder and harder coming at you and shit and, you know, seeing how long you can last pretty much. Then they also have Team Deathmatch. Uh, where, you know, it's not really about getting the princess, it's just about fucking each other up and shit. And, uh, when you're playing the capture the flag mode, if you have a hard time with either team scoring the princess, capturing the princess, it tallies up pretty much how many points each team has and that team will be the winner. Alright, we're starting up home here. It's a hold up. Service pack, son. She's gonna take forever, son! God damn. Okay, home. Alright, here we go. Now, we're gonna go to the home theater. Now, they just had a big update with the theater, and it is pretty fucking beast. Like, you go into here, and you go into the lobby, and it has this big screen up there, you know, playing whatever. They're gonna change it periodically, I'm guessing. And they actually have ten movie theaters in there. So you can pretty much, and each theater has its own dedicated videos to it. Yeah, this is pretty much how it looks now. Uh, a lot of people probably seen this already, but you know, it's just, uh, kind of show people that haven't seen it yet or, or whatever. But yeah, this is pretty much it. Like there's Shakira, I think Treasy was showing that on his video. You know, you got a community theater, I guess, community videos, like Machinima and stuff like that. I'm not too sure. You know, SOCOM, PlayStation Network videos, Pulse. And when you go into each one of these theaters, these theaters, uh, it's just like the old theater. You know, it's set up exactly the same. It's just that this lobby kind of makes it more organized and gives you really more options to look at things. There's a PlayStation blog, PSP. Gran Turismo, PS3, and the Fashion Theater. I haven't stepped foot in there. I don't know what the fuck that's all about. I'm guessing it's about all the clothes for the avatars and shit. But, um, 
Yeah, I mean, that's it. I mean, there's an upstairs, but there's nothing really up there. It's just a balcony, pretty much. But, yeah, I mean, this uh, is pretty much it for the home update. I mean, they also had, you know what, let me go to that real quick. The event space. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to actually keep this up here. And for any events that come out, they're going to, I guess, bring it to this space. And right now it's Fat Princess. And when you go in here, I don't know, it's, it's pretty sweet. They got like this big ass statue of the warrior, which is dope. I gotta get one of those. But, uh, oh, look at the stairs, yo. You saw the stairs. Hold up. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it's pretty sweet going here. They got other statues just lying around and stuff. And when you go through here, you can actually put, uh, play the quest for cake. A little mini game they have. 